Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. So let me just load this up here. So a few days ago, I did this vlog here, Code Boot Camps in 2017-18. And in that vlog, I basically, I don't know, I took shots at uh, Code Camps because I said at the end of the day, you're going to come out of a code camp with 10, 5, 10, 20,000 in debt, and you're still going to be a junior coder, whether you spend six months or a year at it. And uh, so Michael Thomas right here, who is a fellow YouTuber and developer, he said uh, in response to my comment, well, I'll just read it. You're going to be a junior coder at the end of the day. And he writes, I'd say that's a fair synopsis. It's taken me three years to feel competent at this stuff, and I still think I'm just scratching the surface. So there's a couple of comments I want to make. Now, one of the universal principles I've identified is that three-year mark to become a pro. I've seen that in so many different places. Well, so many. I've seen that in a few different places. I've seen it with software development. I've seen it with business. And I've first seen it with martial arts, amongst other places, writing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The three-year mark is that traditional time frame that it takes to become a quote-unquote black belt in traditional martial arts. And that is the beginning of what I was considered to be pro-level developer. I've seen that too with people who work for me. I would bring in junior developers. And again, it takes about three years for them to become pro-level and very useful where I don't have to manage them closely. Now, in addition to that, since we're on the subject, there's another level, the level of, I'll call it mastery of a particular subject. And that level is, takes about 10 years to reach where you really are at a very high level where you have a deep, deep understanding of a particular subject. And again, I've seen this the first time in my life with martial arts. And I actually remember when I was hitting around that 10 year mark in my training, and I, I remember like my perceptions of things were really starting to change radically where I got a real deep understanding of fighting in general, martial arts in general. And all these years later, I still remember sort of reaching that, that level. It's kind of a gradual process, but then it's just like this growing awareness. Same thing with software development where I would have these, I had this this moment, this epiphemous aha moment where I really had a good idea of what was going on in that regard. So these are two very consistent principles. A famous author, Canadian author, Malcolm Gladwell wrote this book called Outliers where he talks about all this. And in that book, he details something that anybody who's done Kung Fu or Kung Fu for a while would know. And he said that, uh, he shows all these studies uh, in different professions from professional hockey players and whatnot. And basically what the study shows it takes 10,000 hours to master any given subject. And he breaks it down and he says that on average, it takes the average person about 10 years to be able to devote, to be able to devote 10,000 hours into the training and the study and the skill development to, to hit that level of mastery. Which is kind of funny because in Kung Fu, for hundreds of years at least, they used to say, or they still say, one of the uh, expressions, it takes 10 years to master Kung Fu. It takes 10 years to master a Kung Fu. And sort of, sort of goes along with that. And they did the math, you train three times a week, you're studying. Now, I'm talking about actively pursuing and developing your skills through continuous study and more importantly, actually building things and doing things. Well, martial arts, not building, but it's actually, you know, sparring and fighting and training with new teachers and studying new techniques and doing a lot of drills. And same thing can be said with software development, web design or web development, et cetera, whatever, whatever language, whatever technologies you're pursuing. I say that three in that 10 year rule does apply. This is, these are two examples of universal principles, uh, truths, if you will, that transcend all disciplines. So yeah, so that's uh, pretty accurate. Three years to become competent, quote, pro level, and 10 years to hit total, like, true mastery of a particular subject. Not a master. A master is very rare. In my martial arts career, 
I was at it actively for 25, 30 years, something like that, depending on uh, how you look at it. And in that time frame, I may have met one or two true masters of martial arts. And uh, though there's a lot of people out there who call themselves masters, but they're not. Because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll train for one or two or three or four years. And then they'll just do the same thing over and over again, not really trying to expand their abilities and their knowledge and their skill sets. That's, uh, that's something to be considered. You know, people who hit true mastery, they continue to study, they continue to evolve. And that's why I talk about once you've mastered, well, not master, once you've hit a pro level with whatever languages or APIs or frameworks you want to work with, then I suggest it's a good idea to start exploring other programming languages, other frameworks, other ways of coding, because it's going to open your eyes up to things. And I remember, like, I cut my uh, my teeth in web development back in the 90s. And I remember when I jumped into building thick clients, traditional apps that would run on desktop computers. And I used to think that writing apps for desktop computers was actually harder. That was my impression of it from a web development point of view. But in fact, when I actually got into writing apps for Windows, I found actually how I was surprised at how easy it was compared to the web stack, you know, because you didn't have all these layers and so on to have to contend with. Anyway, that's another story. Yes, pro level at three years and mastery at 10 years. Now, when I say pro level at three years, it doesn't mean that you can't get a job after six months of training or in coding. Not at all. You can get a job, but you're going to be a junior developer and you're going to make junior developer money at first. Now, there are ways around that, of course so that you can jump into maximum earning much more quickly than you would otherwise. But I'll have to leave that to another vlog.